Welcome to Coffee Break, five minutes with God, five minutes in the Word of God, five minutes designed to taste and see that the Lord is good. Psalm 81 verse 8 is where we resume our coffee break. Hear, O my people, and I will testify unto thee, O Israel, if thou wilt hearken unto me. Stop there. God says, hearken unto me. In other words, listen, listen, and I will warn. And God wants us to listen to his written word, which is his voice. And he wants us to heed the warnings that are in there so that we can avoid trouble that comes from rebellion. God wants us to listen to him and not the world because God knows what is best. Verse 9, there shall no foreign God be in thee, neither shalt thou worship any foreign God. God says, never worship any God other than me. You say, well, I don't have a problem with that. I certainly don't have any statues or, or anything like that that I worship. Really, that's good. That's good. But this also means that you should not have anything in your life that is more important to you than God. How about that? That's when we need to check over, don't we? We need to examine our conscience and our life. Is there anything in our life that is more important to us than Almighty God and His Son, Jesus Christ? Because if there is, we are an idolater. And notice what God says in verse 10. I am the Lord thy God, who brought thee out of the land of Egypt. Open thy mouth wide and I will fill it. God says, he's saying, you don't need to put anyone or anything before me. Why don't you give me a try? Do what I say. Put your trust in me by your obedience, even when it's a sacrifice to do so. And you'll see me come through for you. Put God first, even when it costs you something. And you'll discover that he will satisfy you like nothing else can. So open your mouth wide. I got a whole bunch for you. Just put me first. He's not talking about material possessions. Today, he's not talking about health, wealth, prosperity, power, like the devil offers and like the word of faith teachers pretend to offer so they get your money. He's not talking about that. He's talking about rich spiritual blessings, the things that really count. 11, but my people would not hearken to my voice, and Israel would have none of me. They wouldn't listen. Foolish Israel. Foolish, stupid, moronic Israel. And they were. They became foolish. God blessed them, and they were blessed indeed. But then they grew cold, and they wanted sin more than they wanted to honor God. They wanted sin, so they no longer wanted God, and they turned their back on him, which is when the trouble really started. In verse 12, so I gave them up unto their own heart's desire, and they walked in their own counsels, and that's the worst thing. That is the final rung on the moral or I should say immoral ladder, when somebody refuses to repent and refuses to repent, finally gives them, God finally gives them over to their sin. And then they're in trouble. Then they're damned. They're the walking damned. God honors a person's free will. He lets us do foolish, rebellious, sinful, and harmful things if that's what we really want us to, really want to do. And he lets us believe lies if that's what we really want to believe. He warns us about doing wrong, but if that's what we want and we want to believe lies, he says, have at it to the damnation of your soul. I warned you, but that's choice. Go ahead. Study the whole Bible with me at thebibleversebyverse.com. Don't forget, you can study from Genesis through Revelation using my audio Bible messages for series going through the Bible. Just choose, click, and listen And if you would like to be a part of this ministry, pray for me and God's word. And also when you take a break from studying at thebibleversebyverse.com, go to the front page, click the donate button and prayerfully give. Let's get out God's word. Until next time, so long.